Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Hardware Canucks as we check out AMD's new 6000 series. Very excited to be here with the 6870 and 6850 cards. Make sure you stick around, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Now I think most people would agree, AMD ATI had a pretty good thing going with their 5000 series. Even by today's standards, the performance is pretty good. And as far as the architectural changes, it's still completely relevant. In fact, as far as that goes, there aren't really too many alternatives. So instead of just wasting all of that time and all of that research, AMD has said, look, we already have really good cards, how do we make them even better? But their idea went past just a simple product refresh. AMD is introducing a whole new top-end line that makes some drastic improvements. In fact, there's so many improvements that they felt it was necessary to make a whole new product line with a new name. So we have the AMD Radeon 6000 series. AMD has made changes in four key areas. First, performance. Secondary, power consumption. Third, we have brand new features and probably most importantly, Price. Stuff to look at for this series, better performance with enhanced tessellation, AMD claims it will be double that of the 5000 series. Pretty bold. It's also going to improve on image quality features so you get a little better handling of the eye candy in your games. There's also been a renewed focus on parallel processing to help offload CPU tasks. We have new multimedia features, things such as HDMI 1.4a are standard, better iFinity options, and AMD is jumping on the bandwagon introducing its very own 3D technology. That is just a general overview about what has changed in the 6000 series. Now let's get on to the actual cards. We have both the 6870 and 6850 here. You can click on the annotation links on those cards to check out the unboxings, get a little more in-depth look at them. Otherwise, we're just going to take a look at the reference specs for these cards. As you'll see, the cards don't exactly cross over with their numerical predecessors. AMD actually compares the 6870 specs with that of their previous generation, 5850, as that's its closest competition. In fact, for the 6000 series, AMD is restructuring its entire market position. What we have is two cards coming in at a mid-level range, and from there, AMD is looking to fill out the top end, hopefully within the next few months. But that's enough about that. Let's get to the real meat of the review and see how well these cards perform. And that wraps up our look at AMD 6000 series. Really, you gotta give credit where credit's due, guys. The 6870 and 6850 hit it out of the park for mid-range cards. They come in at under $250 and under $190, which, as we saw with the GTX 460 a little earlier, is pretty much the sweet spot for you know what people are willing to pay for this level of performance. What you're getting is a lot of improvements on the 5000 series in areas people maybe felt were lacking. You have the improvements to parallel processing, image quality enhancements, multimedia functions, all in all it's a pretty damn good card. Thanks for checking out our coverage of the 6870 and 6850 cards. Make sure you check back as we will do more reviews on the rest of ATI's AMD's lineup as it comes out. And don't forget head over to www.hardwarecanucks.com. We have the full written review there with even more benchmarks, uh, opinion, analysis, all that sort of fun stuff. We'll see you next time.